Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth with World's Cup of Joe, Awaken Your Soul. Joanne and I created World's Cup of Joe because we met and we were both in Twin Flame Connections and it was like the universe brought us together. But now I met Joanne right after she had started balancing her person in and I was in a completely different place. I was in separation. My person had just left and I was going through the dark night of the soul. So I was in a bad place where she was balanced and she was good. So she was able to help me. And I want to use this video to really go over five things that I did that got me to the point where my person came back. And I just want to let you guys know that we are in a permanent relating experience. We live together now and our connection is better than it's ever been ever. And so I want to go over the five things that I did that brought my person back in. First thing. So I start my dark night of the soul and I was in a bad place. And I'm sure many of you, if not all of you can relate to what this feels like. The first thing I started doing that my soul just led me to was meditating every night. I started meditating every single night. That was the only way I could fall asleep. I couldn't fall asleep without meditation music, without guided meditations on. I was in such a chaotic space in my head that the only thing that calmed me was meditating to fall asleep. And soon it was something that I craved. I looked forward to going home and curling up in bed and putting on meditation because it was like the only time that I could get out of my head and out of the overwhelming sadness and pain that I was going through in my separation. So that was the first thing. And I didn't even know really what was going on at this time. I just knew that meditation started making me feel better. But it was only to be able to fall asleep. There was still a lot of steps that I needed to do. And mind you, right when I started meditating every night to go to sleep, that's about the point that Joanne came in and started assisting me further. So the next thing that I started doing, and this was on my own, and this was to make myself feel better, I started walking every morning. I started walking outside my house. I would walk, you know, at the beginning, maybe a mile or two, and it got up to like three or four miles every morning. And initially, I thought I was doing it because I wanted to lose weight. I was feeling really insecure. I was, you know, going through this crazy hard time. And then I started transitioning the walks where they weren't about my body image. They weren't about anything except more peace, more peace in my day. I was able to find presence on my walks. I would walk around lakes and there was ducks. I always say my duck family really got me into a place of presence. And I would walk super early in the morning and I would just focus on the nature and the beauty around me. And I little did I know that that was also meditating for me. It was practicing presence. It was practicing soul alignment and I didn't even realize it. So now I am meditating every night. I am walking and being present in the early mornings. And then Joanne says, hey, I have some really good books that I can um, refer to you that might really help you out. So she referred me a couple of spiritual books and I started listening to them on my morning walks. And I, one of the books was um, Michael Singer's The Untethered Soul. Another one was, um, was Conversations with God. Another one was 40 Rules of Love. So she would, each time I would read a new book or I would listen to a new book, I would say, give me another one. And I was like excited because these things in conjunction with my morning walks were really getting me to a place of feeling good and feeling peace and focusing on myself and bringing that focus onto me instead of thinking and going externally onto my person. So I really started seeing this alignment shift for me. And the next thing I knew, my person would show up at my house at five in the morning after he went to the gym and I would be out walking and I would see his car pull up in my driveway as I'd get home and I, hey, what's going on? Why are you here? And I know it was the energy now that was drawing him in because I was aligning with soul. The next thing I did that really brought him back to the point where he wanted to be in a permanent relating experience with me, I turned off social media. 
I stopped going on social media. I stopped following him on Facebook. We stopped following him. I stopped checking in on my personal Facebook because I noticed every time it did, my energies would spike. I would go immediately into addictive mode and it just was not a good mesh for the vibration that I was aiming for. So I turned off all social media. So I didn't know what he was doing. I didn't know who he was commenting on and that was a huge leak and I closed that leak up and the final thing the final thing that I did and I still remember it it was on one of my walks I was really really frustrated and fed up like he's coming and visiting me he wants to sometimes see me he wants to sometimes go out with me he wants to sometimes text me he wants to sometimes call me and I was just like no Every time he does, it brings me out of peace. The state of peace I'm finally getting to on my own that I've never experienced in my entire life. I feel it when I'm alone and he's calling or texting me and it's totally throwing me off my peace. And so I remember I grabbed my phone on a walk and I texted him and I said, stop calling me. I don't want to do this anymore. And the next thing I know, it was like every weekend consistently we were together. It was like that was the surrender moment for me of I'm okay if you never come back into my life. I had surrendered. I didn't even know it and I had surrendered. I had chosen me and my peace over him. And it was those five things that really brought him back in and I stayed in all of those same modes And he kept coming back in. And a few months later, we packed our stuff up. We moved out of state and we bought a house together. And we have been living together very peacefully and very happy ever since. Joanne and I brought you this channel because we are balancing our twin flames in permanent relating experiences. We share how to get to the point to rid yourself of the addictive energy and to balance your person back in. We want to share the good, the bad, and the ugly with you guys because balancing in itself is not as easy as it sounds like. It's not just, oh, you have your person, things are amazing. No, it is every single day I need to make sure that my energy doesn't spike or I will push my person. Every single day you are being aware of where you are at and where your energy is at and making sure that you're aligning with soul. And so Joanne and I brought you this channel so you could have your soul sisters with you through all the good, bad, and ugly, and we could be there as a support system for you because this beautiful, crazy journey is lonely and it's hard, but it is worth it. It is amazing when you learn how to rid yourself of the addictive energy and really balance. It is the most life-changing experience anyone could go through and I'm really really grateful that we're able to be here to help you guys love you guys